Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to talk about 15 different ways that you can publish digitally with InDesign and In5. Because In5 creates HTML5 output without you having to write any code, you can design it yourself visually in InDesign, but then you have all the strengths of the HTML format when you export, and that it can go in so many different places because it is a universally used format. So let's take a look at 15 different ways that you can publish digitally with InDesign and In5. Number one, the most obvious, the web. You can upload your files to your own website. They're exported locally to your hard drive. You can simply upload them using FTP or a file manager. Or if you're using something like TinyHost, all you have to do is drag and drop a zip of those. And just because your content goes on the web doesn't mean it needs to look like a website. Of course, it could be a scrolling website. You can produce that within five. It could look like a flipbook or a different type of digital magazine, or it could look more like an app. And we'll get to talking about apps momentarily. Number two, a web app. A web app works very much like web output, except that it has a little bit of extra code that tells the device that it can be installed by saving to the home screen. Now when you save to the home screen, you can have a custom icon, you open it from there, and it actually works a lot like an app, but you didn't have to go through the painstaking process of getting it submitted and approved through the App Store. There's a link to the full article in the video description, so you can find links to find out more about the web app and these other formats. Number three, mobile app. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can create an HTML container inside of an app and then publish the app and your content is actually that HTML that you would have produced by designing in InDesign, exporting with In5. There's a few different platforms and again I would refer you to the description with the links in it. I just even had a customer say they did this with Adobe Animate and the Harmon platform, which I think is a continuation of what Adobe Air used to be. So there are a lot of different ways to do this if you want to create a mobile app. There are also platforms that will ingest your HTML output and turn those into mobile apps for you. So something to think about, you don't necessarily have to be a programmer to create a mobile app. Number four, you can publish directly to your website through WordPress using our free N5 embed plugin. This lets you just click a button and upload a zip file through your WordPress post or page editor. That way you don't have to use an FTP application and figure out that other process of uploading to a site, getting a URL, and then embedding in a page. The plugin just takes care of it for you. Number five, you can create an animated GIF from InDesign and N5 using our GIF Maker extension for Google Chrome. The way this works is that you create animations in InDesign using the really simple animation presets. You can rearrange the timing and the timing panel, then you export with N5, you open that in your browser, and you run the GIF Maker plugin. It will record all of your animation and create an animated GIF for you. So if you like using InDesign's animation tools, this is a great way to create an animated GIF. You can then share that in marketing emails or as ads in places where the options are limited for the type of format you can include, so that is one way to create an animated GIF. Number six, you can export a Google ad directly from N5. It's a single option when you export. It'll create the zip package with all the necessary files, and you can upload to Google ads and have an HTML ad there. Number seven, you can create a kiosk app like this one. There are multiple companies that will turn your HTML content into a kiosk app. And then, of course, there are also companies that make it really easy for you to make a kiosk. You can turn an iPad or an Android tablet into a kiosk with a simple stand, and it locks it in and has the screen. So if you have some reason to create a kiosk app, just know this might be a simple way to do it. Number eight, you can also create a trade show presentation. This is kind of similar to the kiosk, but I've seen it done using big screens. And one of the techniques that's used most often is that designers take advantage of the N5 presentation mode to create a self-running presentation, which can include video. And when the video ends, it auto advances the slide, and you can just have that playing on a big screen, attracting people to your trade show booth. Number nine, you can publish digitally within five as a live presentation. I do this all the time for my webinars and my presentations. I create it in InDesign and export within five using the presentation mode. 
and then when I open the browser, I just double click, it goes into full screen. I can navigate the slides with my arrow keys, and I also have some cool built-in features like bullet points that fade in, and then they fade out the previous one, and some cool transitions between slides. Number 10, you can publish to a sales enablement app. So a lot of people don't even know they need a sales enablement app or that such a thing exists, but if you're looking to create an app but you only want to distribute it internally, a sales enablement app might actually do what you're looking for and do the job better. The sales enablement app allows the marketing or design team to create content, to feed it into the platform, and then assign it out to people, like say a sales team, or I've also seen this used to push recipes to chefs at different franchise locations. And the idea is this is distributed privately to specific groups. It's automatically downloaded to their devices and then it's uh, available offline. So check out one of those. Again, there are links in the description. Number 11, you can publish to a learning management system or LMS. Now, as of this video, N5 does not produce any LMS specific code in terms of starting or ending a session, but you can certainly wrap your HTML output in this if you need it, zip it up and publish to an LMS. We have customers who are doing that already. So that is another way that you can create content from InDesign and publish it out. Number 12, you can embed your M5 project into another M5 project. So InDesign has a couple ways to embed content and N5 sort of builds on this. The ways that I've seen this used most are say when somebody wants the effects of the slider output, like the horizontal transition, but the slideshow widget doesn't quite do that effect. So what they do is create a smaller N5 project, the size of the slideshow, they export it, and then they can import it in using the web content widget and have N5 content inside of a larger project. I can imagine that this could also be used to embed a flipbook inside a different type of project. So some interesting possibilities there. Number 13, you can distribute your HTML output from N5 as a local download. Now I've seen this done with a, a USB drive in the case of this Hal Leonard project that was featured on our site. I've also seen this done just sharing virtually with instructions over Dropbox or Drive or something like that. You just have to provide instructions on how to unzip the files and double click on the index file to open it up. And there's no reason they can't run it locally in that case. If you do want to run locally from a device like an iPad, then you might be thinking of something where a sales enablement app would be a better fit. But if you're just distributing a downloadable to uh, desktop devices, well, you can just do that as a zip, physically or virtually. Number 14, part of a membership site. So you can certainly include your N5 output as part of a site. If you want to create a custom site, we have a course on using Wishlist Member, which is a, a WordPress plugin to keep your content private. Perhaps you are selling it and you only want to give access to people who have paid. Well, that's all built in and there are ways to do that. Number 15, there are also services that will take your content, your individual content, and treat them like periodicals that you can distribute. So you can think of this kind of like a sales enablement app, but instead of distributing privately within your company, maybe you want to distribute publicly and actually sell your issues and provide them as a subscription. As of recording this video, Paperlet is one of the good solutions for that, but there are a few out there. So just know that is something you can do with your HTML content that you've created with in five using InDesign. So that is by no means an exhaustive list of things you can do, but you can see there is a huge amount of flexibility in what you can create. So I hope this inspires you to create some things and realize that you don't need to code. You can use your awesome design skills to create all kinds of different content. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Hope to see you again soon.